Two years ago, I put a few things in my car and started my journey to look for the dream house. I wanted it to be in the middle of nowhere, in the beautiful place surrounded by nature. And naturally, the house that I have found in the end had no connection to electric system. It was abandoned for the last 30 years and had no source of electricity at all. I wanted to use solar panels for power, but I knew nothing about solar panels and solar energy at that point. So I went to the local solar company and asked them for a quote. But the price they gave me, I absolutely couldn't afford it. I thought this was the end of my adventure. Since then, almost two years has passed, and I installed my entire electric system, solar panels, batteries, inverter, and I made quite a few videos on this channel about this. And people worldwide commented on those videos. From those comments and from my experience, I learned that in every part of the world, solar companies have something in common. They are not interested in solving your problem. They are interested in making their money. And that's why I'm making this video, the videos that I would love to have watched two years ago when I knew nothing about solar panels. Here are five things that solar companies don't want you to know, but you'd better know them before installing solar system. Well, thing number one, there is no one single perfect solar setup. Solar setup consists of different parts, solar panels themselves, batteries, inverter, like the brain of the system, and smaller parts like bus bar and cables and all of that. Normally, solar companies are offering you the equipment from the brands that they have the best deal with. And this might not be what fits you the best. And I'm not talking only about brands, but also the combination, the size of your system. How much of inverter do you need? How much of batteries do you need? How much of solar panels do you need? Would you rather invest in solar panels in your situation for your home? Or you should better invest in batteries and have more energy stored or more energy produced by investing in solar panels? Normally they ask what kind of appliances do you have? What life do you have? What you're using in your house and so on and so forth? How many people live there? And what you have now might be different tomorrow. Also, the things might change after you install solar panels. For example, in the house that is completely off-grid, you might be more conscious of consuming more electricity and think about ways to consume it more wisely, consume it in other time, and you might change your habits according to this. But it's a little bit complicated to think about these things if you're a solar company, right? That's why usually they offer you oversized solution so that you don't come back to them saying that you lack power. They're trying to protect themselves and offer you more than you really might need. And here we come to the second thing that solar companies don't want you to know, but all the people who install solar panels themselves, or at least know something about their system, they know this thing. They know that you do not have to buy everything at once. You can scale your system. There is no perfect system and you don't really know your needs until you start living in this environment using solar power. You do not have to pay for everything at once. You can scale your system. As you go, you can add more batteries later. You can add more solar panels later. You can buy more powerful inverter. A lot of people do this. You can buy the same inverter that you have, exactly the same model, and connect them in parallel. But this you can find out only after you start building your solar system. This is what solar companies don't want you to know. They don't want you to know that you can start small and then build step by step your system according to your needs, adjusting your system and your life to your solar setup. Because living off-grid, living without being connected to electric system, it's absolutely different life that we have in the city. In the city we are given some amount and it's not our trouble what is happening on that, on that side. When you live totally off-grid, it's absolutely other way of thinking and absolutely another way of living. I'll get to that in the minute because it's another thing that solar companies don't want you to know. So they don't want you to know that there is no perfect system and they surely can't be knowing what is perfect system for you. That's why they're selling you something oversized, usually, to cover your potential needs. They don't want you to know that you can go step by step, scaling up and building your system as you go. Next one, that they definitely don't want you to know that all this stuff, solar panels, batteries, inverter, is not getting more expensive every day. It's getting cheaper every day. So if you don't buy it today, in a year, the same thing will be significantly cheaper. I bought absolutely the same solar panels with difference of six months, and I paid for the second set of solar panels 26% less than for the first one. Just in six months, the price went 26% down. If you build your system step by step and you add batteries as you need them, you add solar panels as you see the need of them, you don't freeze those money in someone else's pocket. You can invest that money. You can invest them in some shared fund during this time. Or you can invest this money in yourself, in your education, in other things in your life. 
and a little bit later you will be able to pay less for the same thing. One of my colleagues is adding 5 kilowatt of batteries to his system each year. So he is growing his battery setup each year to make his life more comfortable. As he is paying in steps, he is able to pay less because this stuff is getting cheaper and he is able to use this money for other needs during this time and not freeze them in someone else's business. In promotions of solar companies, you often see that they refer to buying solar panel as investment. But it's not really the investment. Investment is something that if I pay 100 euros today, in a year I will be able to get back 115, for example. This is investment. But if you pay 10,000 euros for the solar system today, you won't be able to sell it in the year with profit. It's not possible because the moment you buy it from the store, it becomes secondhand. So if you pay it for your solar system, for example, 30,000 euros today, it doesn't mean that the value of your house became 30,000 euros more than it was yesterday. Think about it. And obviously to add here, solar companies don't want you to know that you can buy second-hand equipment from other places. They don't want you to know that. I bought my entire equipment except of solar panels themselves second-hand. And I think it was a great decision. Otherwise, I just wouldn't be able to afford to install electric system. And this way, I was able to do this. I'm able to live the normal life. I have the washing machine now. I even have the dishwasher since yesterday. Buying stuff secondhand is absolutely viable option. But if you go to solar company, they never mention this possibility. Well, number four, the thing the solar companies don't want you to know. They surely don't want you to know that you can do it yourself, that you can install solar system yourself. I knew nothing two years ago about solar panels electric system. If I was able to do this, I'm sure a majority of people are able to do this as well. I'm not saying that my solar system that I have installed myself is perfect. No, but it works. I'm still alive. I'm able to live normal life. I am able to work as programmer on my work. I was able to install internet. I am able to charge my phone, my laptop. I'm able to use oven and washing machine and fridge and live normal life after I installed solar panels and the entire electric system myself without any previous knowledge. And if you look at the comments to my previous videos, it warms my heart that people with electric education would come there, advise me something and say, good job, well done. My system is not perfect. Surely there are ways to improve it, but it works. And I'm sure other people can do this as well if they put enough effort in doing this. The major part of the price of solar company quote goes for work. So if you are able to do the installation yourself, or at least part of installation yourself, you will be able to save quite a lot of money. Solar panels themselves are quite easy to install. I showed in the previous videos how I did it myself. It's quite easy to do without any special tools. What is hard to do is to design your system correctly. And for this, as I mentioned before, it's better to have someone to advise you. Someone who already did it for themselves. If you are thinking about installing solar panels yourself, I would advise to find the person who could recommend you and be with you along the way. But to install, to connect everything, it's not actually that hard as it might look like. Sorry for the sound, you probably can hear the cicadas singing because it's their season. And if I wait until the season is over, there won't be any new videos until autumn, I think. Because, as I found out recently, they sing only when the temperature is above 24.8 degrees Celsius. 24.8, not 24.7, 24.8 specifically. I don't know how they measure this, but they produce their sound only when the temperature is higher than that. The last thing that solar companies don't want us to know is that even if you use services of solar company, you'd better know what's going on. One thing, when you're buying a dress for 35,000 euros, for example, you don't have to know anything about it, but if you pay 35,000 euros for something that is crucial for your living or which you depend on, especially if it's something that crucial as electricity, you'd better know how the system works so that you can use it knowing what you are doing. You can't just set it and forget about it. Because even if you have all your needs covered with your solar system, the power is not unlimited. There is a limit in your panels, in your batteries, in your inverter, and it's absolutely different from what we used to live in the city. You have to monitor your consumption, you have to take into account which appliances you are using and when, you have to adjust your way of living to the setup that you have. Luckily, there is the entire world of YouTube, there are a lot of videos how people set up their system, how they manage their system, and one can learn that if they have a desire to do that and to live independently and self-sufficient. So five things that solar companies don't want us to know, there is no one perfect setup. You can scale your system going from smaller to bigger according to your needs. Third, the stuff that you buy, all this equipment, getting cheaper every day. So if you do it step by step, you are able to save a lot of money. 
you can install electric system for your house yourself and fifth if you choose not to do it yourself you'd better know what's going on what your system consists of how all these parts batteries and solar panels connected one to another and adjust your consumption and your life to the system that you have in the end your energy consumption habits matter more than the equipment itself and the knowledge that you have and use for your household is more important than the price you pay to the solar company. If you're thinking about going off-grid or installing solar panels, I would recommend you watch this video where I'm showing how I installed my entire electric system myself. I also would recommend to read the comments to my videos about solar panels and electric system. A lot of people are sharing their setups there in detail because there are a lot of people around the world who did exactly what I did, educated themselves and live self-sufficient and autonomous independent life. I wish you good luck in this journey, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! Bye!